today we've been at the IET at Savoy Place in London for the Radio Technology Masterclass. It's been such a fantastic day, I don't even know where to start. We've had a full house of people interested in radio or audio or engineering or technology or all of the above or just want to learn a little bit more about what a career as a radio engineer might look like, how you get into it. What's the job? I came here because I don't really know what I want to do and I do the, the same job all the time and I really want to like broaden my horizons and see what other kind of avenues there could be. But I just wanted to meet other like-minded people and see what kind of thing like they're into as well. I've learned that there's so many different avenues you could take way broader than I thought it would be. So it's really exciting and there's definitely something for everyone with an interest in radio. Key things I could take away, if it's all about work experience, you've got to get those networks in, connect with different people. You've got to be one step ahead of the game. You've got to be able to know how to troubleshoot as well. Top tips for engineers, if you're building studios, cover about 50% of all of the surface of the inside of the studio with soft materials and fabrics. Leave a little bit of live surface like the windows, the doors, a bit of the ceiling and a few walls just to allow the sound to sound natural. Talk to radio stations, tell them and show them that you're interested, but get some experience in community radio, hospital radio and help out where you can. If an engineer comes to me and says, I've worked in a studio, I understand this, I'm immediately interested. It's a fantastic, fantastic event. I have enjoyed it, personally I've enjoyed it. And what I would say to anybody at all is that you would have to come in and learn, relearn and unlearn. And the possibilities are endless with it. Loved it, loved it.